lovely starshine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold me down. Hi, welcome now to Handmade by Dipsy Tulip. I'm Mel, and I'm going to share something a little bit different in today's video. It's going to be about sewing with silk, so you can see I'm wearing a uh, lovely silk blouse that I've made recently. I will be sharing a more detailed video about the blouse itself, so I'm not really going to go into that in this video. But there's a um, app that I've used to help to share kind of some hints and tips on my experience in working with silk. So I have shared on previous videos that I was a bit of a silk virgin. I did sew with some silk dupion um, back in either November or December, and that was my first time ever at um, working with silk. But then this is a much more drapey um, silk. It's a silk crepe, is it called? I'll correct the text if I've got that wrong. Um, so yeah, I was quite anxious um, and it took me ages to get going with it because I kept on talking myself out of it, thinking that I was going to ruin it. Um, so what I um, have used to tell my story is an app called Stella. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this app. It isn't something that I've used a great deal myself, but it's one of those things that once you kind of go in and have a look around it, it's a bit like uh, going into a rabbit hole. There's so many inspirational things to, to read. So what I'm going to do is refer to my story on the iPad, but I'll record the screen as I'm doing it, so I'll put some video to show you. I will also include a link so that you can have a look at my story and any other stories um, in the video notes as well. Um, just be mindful though, it does work much better if you get the app and it's a totally free app. It's like Instagram, you know, you don't have to um, pay for anything. There's no um, in-app purchases or anything like that. It's purely free um, and it's good. It's a good way, I think, if you want to share some makes, um, in more than just pictures like you do on Instagram, but you don't want to commit to um, a full blog or, or anything like that. It's a good way to share a little bit more detail. So let me just go into the app. So I will leave a link as well into in the notes um, into the app store where you can get this app from. Um, so it's called Stella. Let me just go home. So when you first go on the um, home screen, it'll kind of bring up uh, new stories and you can see they are um, categorised and you can search. Like, for example, if you put sewing in the search, it will come up with any stories that uh, anybody has hashtagged with sewing. But here is my story, so sewing with beautiful silk. So um, it's a bit like a book. Um, that's how it um, how it works, and you 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 click, uh, you swipe, and it'll move on to the next page. And you've got a choice of putting just photos, just text, or a combination. So there's like different layouts that you can choose. Um, so yeah, I've kind of got um, a little opening statement there. So that's about the little voice that was in my head that kept on telling me I'm not skilled enough to um, sew with silk um, and how I silenced it. So then I've just got a little bit of an introduction on um, how beautiful silk is, the wonderful drape, etc. Um, but that I've been telling myself for so long that it'll be too difficult to handle, not skilled enough, too expensive to ruin. Um, my machine won't handle it, all those things that spin around in your head which stop you from doing something. Um, I've then got a picture of the um, silk and the pattern that I've chosen which is the Nina Lee Bloomsbury blouse. So the first point for me is about washing the silk. So uh, most silks say you can't machine wash them and this was no exception. However, when I've posted video, my last video about silk, so many people commented to say silk is um, quite a, a robust fabric 
um, and it and it can be washed as long as you're washing it in the right way. Um, so I did take the risk and I did put it in the washing machine and it was absolutely fine. So this just tells you um, a little bit about that. So I did put it in with the on the delicate setting um, inside one of those delicate laundry bag um, things and it was absolutely fine it didn't impact it at all so that's great now because I know I will wear this top lots because I know I can wash it of course you can hand wash it as well um, I've then got a bit about cutting silk so one of the most difficult things with working with silk is actually pinning it and cutting it out because it's got lots of drape it's slippery so it moves about um, and I did some research on how best to fix that and you really do just need to give it some temp temporary stability. Um, so again in my story I just explain how I do that and it's really simple. I covered my table with a sheet of pattern paper. I then put the silk on top of the pattern paper but as a single layer so I didn't have it folded over as a, as a double layer. I then put the pattern pieces onto the silk and pinned them. Of course, remember, because it's a single layer, you'll need to cut some of the um, pattern pieces twice, but make sure you remember to flip it so you've got um, uh, opposites. And of course, on some of them, when you need to put it on the fold, um, you need to ensure that you're flipping the pattern piece over so you, you, you've got it as it's on the fold. Um, and then what you do is you cut through all three layers. Um, so I've included a very quick 15 second video um, in my story which just shows how stable it is when you're cutting it out, when you're using that method. It was really, really clean, um, really, really cleanly cut. There was no wobbling, there was no jagged edges. It was perfect. Um, of course, you know how we all feel about using our beloved dressmaking scissors cutting through paper. Um, again, I did do some research on this and um, a lot of people were saying to not worry about it um, unless you were kind of cutting paper all the time with your dressmaking scissors, but I was still a little bit tetchy on that. So I have got an older pair of dressmaking scissors which weren't, uh, aren't as valuable as the main set that I use. Um, so I used those to um, cut it out because I was cutting through the paper. Of course it's your choice you might feel that you don't want to use your dressmaking scissors to cut through paper and you may need to research other methods which makes it easier to cut if you've got any other ideas just let us know in the comments um, and then I've got another um, photo and just kind of talking about really taking your time and enjoying the process um, and I really did take my time with this normally I'm quite a fast sewer um, but this took me obviously on and off doing a bit each night but it took me a week to sew um, and normally I'll get my um, projects done within a, a day or, or so um, so yeah definitely it was one that um, I really took my time on. I did turn the side seams and the inner uh, sleeve seam um, I converted it to a French seam because that's a real clean cut for um, silk and um, in the story I've just given um, some guidance on how to turn a 5 8 seam allowance into a French seam and um, so as I said you can uh, click to, to refer back to this um, but um, just to kind of walk um, through what I've done so you need to put your fabric wrong side to wrong side which takes ages for your brain to get used to because you've trained your brain to always work right side to right side so wrong side to wrong side then stitch at a 3 8 seam allowance, press the seam and trim it in half or um, actually I trimmed it first in half and then pressed it open. Press the seam with the right sides together so you're actually enclosing that seam allowance that you've sewn so you're back on right side to right side now and then stitch again with a quarter inch seam allowance and then give it a final press and then that will turn your 5 8 seam allowance into a French seam. Um, I've then gone on to um, just explain what machine I used for sewing with the silk. So I actually used my vintage Benina Record 830 and it sewed it absolutely wonderfully. Um, it was an absolute dream, no skip stitches, 
Um, the big difference for me is, because obviously the fabric's quite delicate, with my other machine, um, I would find with delicate fabric, sometimes it would suck into the um, feed dogs, and there was none of that at all on this machine. I didn't have a single problem. It sewed through the whole thing beautifully. So um, as it says in my quote there, sometimes old is best. In relation to needles, obviously you can buy um, needles which are um, specifically for silk. I used the Genome Blue Tip needle because um, that's what I tend to use for most things um, and that worked again absolutely fine. There were no skip stitches, no thread nesting and no broken needles. Um, and that was it. So that was my kind of tips for working with silk and then I've ended with a quote. So it's only after you've stepped outside of your comfort zone that you begin to change, grow and transform. Okay, so I hope that you found that useful. Um, do let me know if you're familiar with Stella stories, um, and if not, um, do go and check them out. Um, you, as I say, you know, you can just download the app and then you can have a browse around um, and see what stories are there. There's loads of inspiration. A lot of photographers tend to use it to tell stories, but there's lots of crafty things, there's lots of cookery things. Um, so yeah, um, definitely a rabbit hole situation and just a different form of communicating with other people who are, are creative, I guess. Um, so do look out for the video that I will share um, on another day where I'll tell you more about um, this top itself and I'll show it off in more detail um, and explain to you a little bit more about how I got on with the pattern itself. Didn't want to put it all in one video because it would make it too long. So that is it, that's all I wanted to share today. Have a wonderful week, whatever you're up to. I hope you get lots of time for doing plenty of sewing and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold me down. Now my feet don't even reach the ground. Just like a prisoner when it's...